Hello? Today I'm going to talk about AVL trees. AVL trees are a special type of uh, tree that you would use in computer programming. It is a binary search tree. If you don't know what that is, then please look at one of our other videos. But there's one other condition that an AVL tree has. It has a balance property. Uh, what it means is that the tree must always be balanced at all times. That means the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree can only differ by, at most, one. What does balance mean? For a tree to balance, the value has to be uh, one, zero, or negative one. To calculate the balance of a tree, you would take the height of the tree on the left side and the height of the tree on the right side. That is, the height of the root uh, root's left branch and the height of the root's right branch. Here's an example. This tree, uh, I show each node individually in the list here, and it tells you what the balance is of each node. Notice that the, the height of uh, each node is zero, and uh, except for 13, which is negative one, because it took the height of the left tree, which is zero, and the height of the right tree, which is one. So it said zero times one, uh, zero minus one, which is negative one. Now, what if we insert 16? Okay, so now we have we have to recalculate the balances of the nodes of the tree. And if we do that, we notice that the number 13 now has a balance of negative two. That's bad. But I just told you, negative one, zero, and one are the only values we can have for the heights. If any, there's anything else that comes up, then the, this tree is unbalanced. And therefore, it would not be an AVL tree. To make it an AVL tree again, we have to rebalance it. When you try to rebalance a tree after inserting something, there are four possible different situations. First, that you've inserted a new element into the le left subtree of the left child, that you've inserted it into the right subtree of the right child, if that you've inserted into the left subtree of the right child, or you've inserted into the right subtree of the re left child. And for each one, if you have to rebalance the tree, then it's a little bit different for each one. For example, if you insert the left subtree of the left child, it would look like this. If you insert into the right subtree of the right child, it would look like this. Into the left subtree of the right child, it would look like this. And into the right subtree of the right left child, it would look like that. And what I mean here is that the top one here would be unbalanced, and your new element that you just added would be down here. Now, when you have to rebalance an AVL tree, like I said, there are four different possible rotations that you can do in order to balance it. There's something called a left-left rotation, a right-right rotation, a left-right rotation, or a right-left rotation. This is what a left-left rotation will look like. If you insert the number, say, 2, into this tree that we have here, you can see that we can do a left-left rotation because the left le we inserted the new element into the left-left side of the unbalanced node. And so, if we visually look at it as we rebalance it, this is what it will look like. You can see that the middle load a node became the, the parent of the other two nodes. We sort of just rearranged those three nodes. And now it's balanced. For a right, ro right rotation, if we insert a node like 8, then we have a we insert the node into a, the right right uh, side of the node that's unbalanced now. So we can perform a right right rotation, which, which is a mirror uh, image of the left left rotation. Good. Now the left right rotation. If we insert the number 3, then we see that 4 is unbalanced, and we insert 3 in the left right 
part of 4. And if we rebalance it, it would look like this. A right-left rotation, again, is the mirror image of a left-right rotation. It seems simple, especially if we're doing it all on the uh, paper uh, with pictures. Uh, but you have to keep in mind exactly how you would code this, because it's a little more complicated if you do. Now you might wonder exactly which rotation you have to use at which given time. If the unbalanced uh, node's height is positive, that is, the l left side is uh, larger, where negative, if it's uh, positive, then you uh, should use a left left rotation or a left right rotation. Otherwise, if it's negative, then you would use a right left rotation or a right right ro rotation. These are some hints of how you might be able to code it. Now here I have another example for you. We just inserted a new number here, 9, and now way up high the, num the node at 5 is unbalanced. Well we have to fix that. But we inserted it in the right, right, right uh, space. So that's actually three ways down, not instead of two. So what do we do then? Well, recall what uh, I just told you. Uh, if uh, using the, the hints I gave you, we could say that uh, we should use a right right rotation because that's the side that's going to be unbalanced. That's causing the unbalance. So if we do that, it would look like this. Note that the node 6 is now the child of node 5 after this right right rotation. So these are all different things you have to consider. Remember uh, to always place the child of the correct parent after each rotation. The right right ro rotation and the left left rotation are considered to be a single rotation. That is, uh, they deal with outside rota inser insertions and they're generally simple. Right-left rotations and left-right rotations are considered to be double rotations because they deal with inside insertions. Okay, uh, that's about all I have to tell you today. Uh, you, you should think for yourself exactly how you might code this. Uh, it's not too difficult, you just have to think about uh, how you would code each individual al algorithm. Uh, it, it helps to create a method for each of the four rotations and call upon them when you think they are necessary. Good luck and thank you for watching.